Power My Analytics makes it easy to get started creating beautiful reports in just a few minutes. With PMA's 14 day free trial, you can try all of our features and see our data automation services can do for your e-commerce, advertising, and social media reports. Even after your free trial, you can keep designing reports using PMA sample data. Let's jump in and you'll be visualizing your data before you know it. To get started, go to PowerMyAnalytics.com and click on the free trial button. Power My Analytics is linked to your Gmail or Google Workspace account. So before you sign up with your free trial, make sure you're only logged into the account you want to use with PMA. You can change this later if you use the wrong Google account. You should also have your login credentials ready for the data source you want to use. But if you don't, you can use our sample data in your reports. You don't have to enter a payment method before you start your free trial. You can do that later if you decide to subscribe to one of our plans. After you made your free account, it's time to set up your first data source. A data source is an account that uses a connector of one of our supported platforms. Power My Analytics has over 40 connectors available for the most popular platforms. You can go to PowerMyAnalytics.com to see dozens of connectors that we support. First, go to your hub at hub.PowerMyAnalytics.com. In the left sidebar, click on Sources and go to the data sources page, then click on the blue button that says add new data source. Under connect a new account, choose the platform that you're using as a data source. In this example, we'll pick Facebook ads. Then enter your login credentials to authorize PMA to access your account. PMA will never edit or make changes to the data in your account, but many connectors require full permissions even for read only access. Once you've connected your data source, you can now begin creating reports using your data. When you create a report using one of our data sources, we'll begin caching your account's data in our data warehouse. We call this backfilling, and it's what makes our connectors so much faster than other services that make live requests every time. Most of our connectors can backfill up to 13 months of your historical data when you create a report. Some include the option to backfill two years of historical data. Sometimes this can take a few hours to finish, but it should only take a few minutes. You also have the option to manually backfill your data at any time, and this can be used when troubleshooting problems with missing or incorrect data in your reports. After your data has been backfilled, we'll continue performing daily data refreshes for all of your accounts. This will bring your cache data up to date with your live data every 24 hours, along with updating the last seven days of data in a rolling window to reflect any changes. The data refresh will only occur at midnight according to the time zone you set your data source. You can change your time zone for a source by going to your hub and selecting the sources in the left sidebar. Find your account in the list of accounts and then click the pencil icon in the time zone column. Then select the time zone you want to use with that source. Now it's time to make your first report. Power My Analytics supports several destinations for your data, and you can create your reports in Looker Studio, Google Sheets, Excel, Tableau, Power BI, and more. Our spreadsheet add-on is included with our pro and enterprise plans. It's only $49.95 a month to add on to a single or a business plan. In this example, we'll make a Looker Studio report. First, go to your hub and click on Reports in the left sidebar. Then select the data destination like Looker Studio. Choose the platform you use for your data source like Facebook ads. You'll be taking the Looker Studio to configure the report. These steps might be slightly different for some connectors because different platforms may have different configuration settings. Under Power My Analytics Hub, choose the name of your hub, then click Next. For user account, select the account that has the data you want to report, or you can select sample account to use our randomly generated sample data. When you're finished selecting your options, make sure you check use report templates for new reports if you want to start using our pre-made report templates. And if you want to name your specific data source, you'll be able to click on this option up here and name your data source from here. Then click on the blue connect button in the upper right corner. Click on Create Report, and you'll be taken to your new Looker Studio report. You can navigate through the pages listed on the left to see all your data presented in our starter template. You can click on the blue Edit button to customize the report, add or remove charts, add your own branding, and more. If you want to create spreadsheet reports with Google Sheets, you can install the Power My Analytics add-on from the Google Workspace Marketplace. To use Excel, you can go to the Microsoft Ad Store and install the Power My Analytics data connector. You can also find more instructions for installing and using our spreadsheet add-on at support.powermyanalytics.com. You can also add more team members to your Power My Analytics account, allowing you to collaborate easily on all your reports. Your team members can access the hub for your account, and that means they can manage data sources, reporting, billing, and other options just the same as your account. Our single connector plan only includes one account, while our business plan has a maximum of two. If you need to add more, each additional account is only $4.95 a month. 
Pro and Enterprise users can add unlimited number of accounts to their hub. To add a new team member, go to your hub and click on the three dots next to your hub's name in the upper right corner, and then click Members. Click on the blue invite member option, then enter the user's email address to send the invitation. They'll receive an email with a link to accept the invitation in your hub. And once they accept, they'll be listed under members in your hub. And you can also remove team members in your hub at any time on the members page. Just click on the gear icon under actions next to their name and select remove member. During your 14 day free trial, you don't need to add a payment method. But if you want to stay with PMA, you should make sure you add a payment method before your trial ends. Once you add a payment method, we won't process your payment until the trial period ends. If your trial expires, you can still create reports using our sample data, but you won't be able to use any of your own data sources until you reactivate your account. You can set up a payment with a credit card or PayPal account in your hub. Click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner next to your hub's name and select billing. Then click on credit card or PayPal and enter your account information. Enterprise users can also pay by invoice. And if you have a yearly plan, you can pay by invoice or wire transfer. Find out more at support.powermyanalytics.com. Power My Analytics makes it simple to set up a wide range of data sources and build fantastic reports using our starter templates. And that's just the beginning. With our data connectors, you can set up exports of your data into BigQuery, blend multiple data sources together in your presentations, or even use a spreadsheet report as a data source for other reports. All that, and you can get started today at no charge. Just go to PowerMyAnalytics.com and click on Start Free Trial. Remember to keep watching our video tutorials so you can see my face and learn all the different ways our connectors can power your data reporting needs. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys.